I guess this entire video is going to be very off the cuff, like a very freestyle type of video. That's because like, I wasn't planning on doing this video at all. But um, my dad's just found out that he has landed like one of the biggest clients uh, for his recruitment agency of the year. So basically, he's found out that he can supply workmen for this massive upcoming project. And the client of like who he can supply the people to, it's uh, it's from America. And like my dad said, like I'm quite curious. Like, how did you find us? Like we're a recruitment agency that is. Uh, quite big in Holland and England, but other than that, it's like not a very big agency or anything like that. It started off as a little small family company, and uh, like the big American clients said, "Well, I found just through Google. Like I googled, uh, I, I don't know what the search term for, but they googled whatever they needed, and uh, the LinkedIn page of my dad's company was like the, one of the first things that came up. So, uh, and I just wanted to explain a little bit more about that and why, like paying some asshole that has got a master's in marketing or whatever uh, a six-figure salary just to, to promote your company with like traditional media and all that and traditional marketing might not be the way to go so i understand that quite a lot of people are still skeptical about social media and online marketing digital marketing and that's because like for so long marketing used to be just this, the exact same like formula and they used to do it in the exact same way and that is why for years and years and years the marketing degrees and marketing uh, like university courses and all that haven't changed. It always used to be you're trying to like, sell a product to uh, the customer, so you need to promote that product. And there's like a few ways to do that. You know, you've got radio, you've got television, and you've got like out of home advertisement that is like uh, billboards, flyers, posters, stuff like that. And that's great and all that, but obviously, like more and more companies are trying to promote themselves. So there's like such a demand for billboards and promotions and all like that. Obviously, the prices are going to skyrocket. You know, there's only so many billboards going around, so many companies wanting the billboards. So basically, the owners of the billboards can just ask for whatever they want. And nowadays, it's so overpriced. Like, I Googled it the other day and it was something like uh, for, for, for newspapers, for example. If you want to be on the on a full page on the national newspaper in Holland for one day, you pay three thousand euro. And if you want to be on the front page of that newspaper, like for the national newspaper, times that by four, so that's twelve thousand euro to be on the front cover of the national newspaper. And now let's say you do that, you do invest the twelve thousand euro. How many people of your target group or your target market have you actually reached? Like there's no way of knowing how many people you target when you do like a billboard or a newspaper or anything like that. Even television, there's no way to track that nowadays because people get up when, when the advert's on, they get up to make a cup of tea or anything like that. Like what they used to do in England is actually raise the volume of adverts by 20% because you know that's when people get up to get a cup of tea. So you're sort of like shouting your advert while they're boiling the kettle. So like traditional marketing and traditional media and all that, it's definitely like there's there's still a place for it definitely but it's not as effective as it used to be and that is why it, and that is where social media has come in its place like nowadays you can you can promote your business or promote whatever you're trying to sell for five euros a day on facebook and you can target so specifically you can target exactly what age group all the demographics like what places you want to target what time stuff like that absolutely everything and everything is trackable and backed by statistics and data so you can even nowadays you can even uh, retarget people that have looked at your website so they see your advertisements after they've been on your website they see your adver your advertisements on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram stories, stuff like that. Like once you know what your target market is and who you want to target, you can target them in so many ways for such a underrated, like undervalued price. I like still at the moment, like Facebook ads are so undervalued, like it's unbelievable. You can target so many people for such a small price as opposed to 12,000 euro for a newspaper that might not even be read by your target group. So I went on a bit of a rant there, but I, what I meant to say was you can target your target audience so specifically for only five euros a day. You can, you can uh, decide yourself who sees it, who doesn't, uh, what your target market is, what demographics, where it gets seen, how many times does it get seen in the newsfeed, or is it like a little advert on the side, and for how long and for how much you want to spend. Like if you want to spend more than five euros, you can. 
like there's so many options with Facebook marketing and it's it's because no not like obviously a lot of companies are getting onto this now but still there's so many companies out there that aren't onto this yet and don't get me wrong like marketing itself like the whole the core principle of marketing it's still the same it is still trying to get your products in front of the customers like mar what is mar marketing is the satisfaction of a need and um, what is a need a need is a, a state of felt deprivation by like uh, something that is felt by your customer you need to get your customer to think or to feel like it needs to buy your product to satisfy that need you need to give your customer the feeling that it, it, it's like it's missing out or it's missing something and that whole core principle of marketing that has not changed it's not about that it's the way we're communicating with the customer that has changed so if you've got a business and you're trying to promote that business don't think radio think podcasts you know like don't think newspaper think blogs and vlogs and and reviews and, and posts on facebook and stuff like that don't think networking events think linkedin don't think television think youtube you know stuff like that's what i'm trying to say it's like marketing hasn't changed but the way we communicate and the way we promote our business that is changing now obviously like you just you just, you just know this you just understand this because otherwise you would be watching my content like the, the whole youtube generation sort of understands this but there's just still so many companies out there that have hired some corporate fuck that hasn't learned anything in the last 10 years and still thinks that uh, marketing is still the way it was and it's not like social media is taken over these fuckers are sitting on on like on the top of the titanic drinking champagne and wine and all that and social media is the fucking iceberg so anyway just to rein it all back in because this video is like proper like freestyle off the cuff just to give it a bit more structure if you own a company or if you've got a company or you work for a company uh, like make sure that you realize that this is an issue and that traditional media traditional marketing is so overpriced in fact if you work for a company and you sort of understand this and you understand a bit about facebook marketing facebook advertising then offer your like, offer yourself to, to take over the service and charge them a fee you know here's where you might like earn a bit of money out of it like because you understand it because you're like of this generation and the older generation doesn't this might give you the opportunity to, to earn money off something that you do anyway which is engage on various social platforms like facebook like instagram like snapchat like instagram stories you know and the company you work for won't be bothered because they're saving so much money on advertisement because you are advertising for them on a platform that is relatively cheap compared to uh, billboards and newspapers and traditional marketing and stuff like that anyway guys i hope i can sort of structure this video or edit it in some kind of way that it looks like there's a structure in it because it's a very freestyle off the cuff type of video uh, like this video if you got something out of it comment down below what you thought of this video and if like you've got any more ideas for videos or if you want to see me do more of these off the cuff type of videos about social media marketing Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Gotta do what I gotta do.